how to draw a cylindrical helix hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy in this video I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can draw a cylindrical helix so before we get into this video if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel uh, please take out time to click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon to, uh, to get notified so that when uh, when else I release a video so know that subscribing is absolutely free so it won't cost anything just take out time just click on that subscribe button down uh, down there and the little bell icon all right so thank you very much if you have just done that and let me know in the comment section if you have just subscribed so just say something like i've subscribed and i'll reply you all right so let's get into this video helical drawing a cylindrical helix so in doing this there are two things you are going to need one is the uh, diameter of the circle is the diameter of circle and for this video i'm going to be using a diameter of 60 uh, millimeter and then you're also going to be uh, need the pitch so the, for the pitch i'm going to be using 100 millimeter so note your own your, your units can be different you can be using something different uh, a different diameter a different pitch but the step is absolutely the same thing so in doing this i'm going to be drawing a circle with a diameter of 60 mm uh, that 60 mm means um, that's a radius of 30 mm so i'll pick my ruler and my compass and measure 30 mm so that 30 mm is same as three centimeter so this is it here and with that i'm going to draw a circle all right so i already have my circle so the next thing is i'm going to uh, draw the diameter and extend it to the right so having done this I'm going to divide my circle into 12 equal parts now in some um, some material you might find them you are divided your circle into 8 uh, either you divide it into 8 or you divide it into 12 you are still are going to arrive at the same answer so I'm, I'm going to be dividing mine into 12 so in doing that, I'm going to be divided as at uh, 30 degrees interval. So if you want to know how to divide a circle into equal number of parts, so you can check the playlist on uh, technical and engineering drawing. You'll find uh, different videos that will show you how to divide cir uh, a circle either into 5, 7, 8, 9, or any number of equal parts. So for this now, you are dividing it into 12. So I've taken the points. So I'll draw a line from those points, from one part of the circumference to the other part, to the opposite side. So now I've been able to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. So next thing is to label the parts in numbers. So this is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So this 12 is also point zero. So now let's look. We have our pitch to be 11, I mean um, 100 millimeter. But first let's draw a, um, a line that is parallel to uh, the diameter we are having here. From 0.6 to 0.12 with a height of 6, 60 millimeter that is 6 centimeter so just to make sure the line is parallel I'll be using my set square okay so one, two, Right, so having done that, now we're having a pitch of um, 100 millimeters. So what you are going to be drawing here is something that looks uh, more of like a rectangle. So a, rec a rectangle of um, 100 by 60 millimeter. 100 millimeter by 60 millimeter.
Vamos. So now from here to here is what we call our pitch, which is 100 millimeter. So let me just note it. Okay, let me just note it at the top. So this is 100 millimeter, which represents our pitch. Our pitch. So the next thing is, now this distance, let me just call it AB. What we are going to do is we are going to divide it into 12 equal parts now the reason why we are going to be dividing into 12 equal parts is because we divide this our circle into 12 now i said it earlier that there are some uh when there are uh, some videos or some materials you see talking about about helix they divide theirs into eight but here i divide it into 12 so since i'm dividing the circle into 12 i'm going to divide this the, the pitch which is the distance from a to b into 12 equal parts so if it is eight i'll divide if this if this circle is divided into eight equal parts i'll divide this line a b into eight equal parts so I hope that is clear. So in dividing AB into 12 equal parts, now we are having our pitch to be 100, cent, uh, 100 millimeter. So since it's 100, if you are to divide it into 12 equal parts, that would be on, uh, 100 millimeter divided by, by 12. That will give us about 8.333 uh, millimeter. So which is not uh, easy doing that on, the, on this line. So the best thing we are going to do is to use the division of line into equal number of parts using that technique. So what I will take convenient angle, I'm going to draw a straight line. So this line, I'll divide it into 12 equal parts. So if you are familiar with that method of dividing a line into an equal number of parts, so that's what you're going to be applying. I have a separate video that explains that. So I'll just pick and divide this line into any uh, 12 equal parts at any convenient length. So I'll divide it into 12, like something like this. So I'll pause the video and go ahead and continue with the division. So you don't have to do anything, just keep watching. So I'll divide this line into 12. What I'll do is I'll join the last point of it to point B. So it's not shown in the video because of my space, but you can just check the playlist on, uh, and search for the video on how to divide the line into any equal number of parts. you find it. So with that, I'm going to draw lines that is parallel to this line that you have just seen. With that, that will divide this line AB into 12 equal parts. So now I'm done with dividing line AB into 12 equal parts. So what I'm going to do is to, is to note this number. This is 1. So this is going to be... So let me... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So all those points here, I'm going to project them upward. So I'm going to draw a line from all those points like this upward. So make sure that they are parallel. So I've divided it into 12. So let me just put the label at the top. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. Now, having done this, the next thing we have to do is we are going to project these lines. All these lines. So from 11 to 1, we are going to project it. From 10 to 2, project it. No vertical, I mean horizontal line from 8 to 4, we are going to project it. So in doing that, I'm going to be using my ruler and my set square again. So I'm using it to get uh, to, to uh, the diameter. So I want to make sure that it's in line with the diameter. So that I can make, to make sure that all the lines will be parallel to each other. So now I've gotten that, what I'll just have to do is to adjust can see I'm, I just have to move it to the top so just adjust the set square to the top
So if you are using it, if you are a T square, um, to be much more easier, probably if you are T square, then you set your set square to rest on your T square. So with that, we are going to be having something like this. So now the next thing uh, to do is, now we are going to be joining, you see where we are having point one, we are going to trace the line to where we are having this point one. Where this vertical point one, this is the point of intersection, you are going to note it. For that of point zero two, this point is also point zero, this part is point zero, this is the point. So now for point two, this is point two, you trace it to where we have the vertical line two, this is it. You note the point. So you are going to repeat the same thing for all the points. This is 3. You are going to trace it, this horizontal line, to where you are having this vertical 3. This is it. So if you are following it like that, by, then this will be for that of 4, 5, and 6. So for 7, this is 7. You are going to trace this horizontal line to where we have the vertical 7. So this is it. For 8, this is 8. If you trace it horizontally to where we have the vertical 8, this is 8. So once you do the same thing for 9, you are going to get it here. For 10, this is going to be for 11. You can see this is 11. If you trace it horizontally to where we are having this line, this 9 represents 11. This is it. And then for 12, if you trace it like this, this is 12. Now if you see all those points that we are having, we are going to join them together. So in doing that, I'm going to be using my French curve. So if you have followed to this stage and if you are finding value in this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Just click on that like button or that thumbs up button to give it a thumbs up. So now I'll be bringing in my French curve to join those points together. So we are gradually joining, so those points keep joining them like this. So we've been able to join, join this uh, the half side of it. So now for this remaining part, what we are going to do is we are going to make it as bold as this. We are going to use uh, some dashes. For this other part, like I said, we are going to be using some uh, short dashes. I'm going to be having something like this. So now for the final side, so with this now we have our cylindrical helix. So this is our helix. So this is how you go ahead when you are asked to draw a cylindrical helix. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any question or any comments for me with regards to this video, or uh, just leave them in the comment section below. You have a video request. Also in the description of this video, I'm going to be leaving links to other uh, drawings like how to draw a hyperbola, something like this. This is hyperbola. Or if you want to know how to draw a cycloid, something like this, a cycloid. I will leave a link to, uh, to all of these videos in the description of this video. Maybe I'll draw a epicycloid, hypocycloid, how to draw their tangents. So I'm going to be leaving more of those helpful links in the description of this video. Also, if you are yet to subscribe, please click, uh, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. You can also check out our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. And with that, I'm going to see you all in another video. Thank you very much.